um, on number eight, ladies and gentlemen, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the measure of the quadrilateral. Now, the only information that we've talked about so far in measuring our, to find the value of x, Mario, do you need to, you want to sit over there? No, you're, oh, you're good, okay. Um, so when finding this, uh, defining the measure of that angle, what we're simply going to do is need to determine, well, what do all these angles add up to? Well, remember, we, we understood that that formula was the sum of all the interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees, right? Well, here we have a quadrilateral. So that's 4 minus 2 times 180 degrees, which equals 2 times 180 degrees, which equals 360. That means if I was to add up all of those angles, I would get 360 degrees, right? Well, these angles, I know they represent as little expressions. So it's going to be a little different. But still, ladies and gentlemen, we can write an equation. And it's a very long equation. However, all I'm doing is I'm taking each one of these angles. I'm taking each one of these angles, and I'm just simply adding them up. OK? So now I you know, remember when we're combining like terms, I can only combine my variable factors with an x with the other variable factors with an x, and my numbers only with the numbers. So I'll, what I'm just going to simply do is just connect all my numbers with variable factors, and then I'll just connect my numbers. All right, so here what I have is 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus 3x, so that's 2, 4, 6, 9x. And then I have positive 20 minus 10 is positive 10 minus another 10 is 0. So it's really just 9x equals 360. So then I can just divide by 9, and x equals 40 degrees. Therefore, the measure of x in this polygon is going to be 40. OK? Any last question?